Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we've got some speculation mixed in with straight facts. Fact. 4 GB HBM2 stacks are in production. Real quick, I just want to let everyone know that I'm hosting a Battleborn Steam Key giveaway and to join there will be a link in the description below. So HBM2. If you didn't know, AMD partnered with SK Hynix to produce HBM chips way back to make the Fury and Fury X memory and now we're moving on to HBM2 which is supposed to be amazing and it definitely does sound amazing. So Hynix pretty silently announced that HBM2 chips are in production and will be available in Q3 of 2016. According to this article by Anand Tech, this means that they're actually sending the memory to buyers instead of making them from scratch. So this may mean a late 2016 and early 2017 release date for Vega is being set in stone. That's not even the best part though. Real quick so everyone understands, the way HBM works is instead of having 20 memory chips surrounding the GPU die, the memory is instead baked into the same area as the GPU seen here. Instead of having a bunch of memory chips, we instead get memory stacks, which are essentially those chips from earlier stacked on top of each other to conserve space. In the Fury and Fury X, the maximum amount of possible VRAM was only 4 gigabytes because each stack was limited to 1 gigabyte of VRAM, sadly. But now with HBM2, we're looking at 4 gigabytes of VRAM per stack and a maximum of 4 stacks. This means it may be possible to see AMD cards with 16 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM with Vega. I don't think this is too far-fetched because AMD has always been a fan of lots of VRAM. For example, the 370 with 4 gigs of VRAM while the 750 Ti has 1 or 2 gigs. Pretty much the rest of the 300 series with 8 gigabytes of VRAM while the 980 Ti has 6 gigs of VRAM. Just so you know, each stack will be capable of 204 to 256 gigabytes a second, meaning the total bandwidth of a theoretical 16 gig card would be 1024 gigabytes a second. Jesus Christ, at this point you're streaming the whole Terraria installation 10 times a second. But in all seriousness, HBM2 is looking to be ridiculous. Even the Titan X is capable of only 480 gigabytes a second with GDDR5X and has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I would bet this is likely to be the Fury or Fury X replacement if at all we see a 16 gig HBM2 GPU. Remember HBM is much faster than GDDR5 so instead of needing more VRAM we just have less faster VRAM. So an 8 gig 490 may be an option once Vega is released. Alright everyone thanks for watching the video. Remember the link to join the giveaway will be in the description below. Subscribe and give this video a like to show your support. If you hated my voice or something, please drop a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.